Hello, my name is Bruno Dennis. Welcome to my webinar. Today we will speak about why are tech giants GAFA massively investing in healthcare. So the first question is what is driving tech giants expansion into healthcare? The healthcare market is increasingly complex from a clinical standpoint, from a systemic standpoint, with healthcare payer, providers, and patients. So a lot of data sets are being produced, and those data sets need to be hosted and analyzed. And Google, Facebook, Microsoft are very interested to host those data on their platform and to analyze and use artificial intelligence to make sense of those data. This is why they, they are so massively no investing into the healthcare market. The second question is, how are tech giants changing the healthcare st stakeholder landscape? So by harnessing all those data, which are you know, nearly 100% digitized, you know, the cloud providers can enable a faster understanding of healthcare phenomenon from a clinical standpoint, from a biomolecular principle, better understanding of genotype variants, for instance, encoding of proteins, thanks to genomics and immunomics services. They can also have a better epidemiologic follow-up at a global scale, as we can see for COVID-19 today. They also can enable a better exchange of safe electronic data records between patient and healthcare provider. And last but not least, also they can allow each individual like us to have a better understanding of our own healthcare parameters through availability of portable monitoring systems, oximeters, heart rhythms, insulin levels, sleep apnea, for instance. The third question is, what impact will the COVID-19 pandemic have on tech giants venture into healthcare? Actually, the COVID-19 pandemic has a very positive influence towards the, the tech giants that are providing the technological means, allowing healthcare providers and other healthcare stakeholders to harness the power of healthcare data. So by using very large cloud computational capability, tech giants like Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Google, uh, they enable the healthcare provider and researchers to collect massive amount of real-time data, store those data in protected and compliant data stores, and then analyze and correlate those data through artificial intelligence framework using specific algorithm to contextualize and bring those data to the attention of the research community. So in a nutshell, COVID-19 is a massive uh, potential, positive potential for the large tech corporations. The first question is how are artificial in intelligent -like te technologies provided by those tech giants changing the future of drug discovery? You know, by applying the right artificial intelligence techniques, including computational storage capability on clinical trial data sets, for instance, or by implementing virtual experiments, clinical researchers can uh, can further automate and virtualize their experiments. Those artificial intelligence technologies increases the volume and speed of those key research pipelines. So it increases the capability of drug manufacturers and clinical researchers to find new treatments. And it's also the case for COVID-19. So by applying the right artificial intelligence machine learning algorithm on clinical trial processes, you will also accelerate the speed of clinical trial approval process and therefore also benefit the, uh, the, the pharmaceutical and medtech corporations. The fifth question is understanding of GAFAM, Google, Facebook, Apple, Microsoft uh, and Amazon are dealing with the trust and data privacy related to healthcare data hosted in cloud computing capabilities. 
So the data protection laws have, have had a, a, a very interesting effect to create the necessary governance around data protection. So it obliged all those actors, all those tech giants in the ecosystem to think and take appropriate measures. It is seen by majority of the tech giants as a way to maintain high trust level and even reinforce the use of their cloud technology versus letting local healthcare actors to organize it themselves. So in conclusion, it does foster discussions in the ecosystem and allow more actors to trust the capabilities of those tech giants and cloud service providers. So thank you so much for watching my webinar. So as a conclusion, tech giants, device, cloud and AI reinforce the value chain of pharma and life science companies, which reinforce tech giants innovation in their own fields. So I see it as a really positive sum equation that reinforces itself constantly. Thank you so much for watching my video and looking forward to see you in my next one.